what? <coughs> Take two. Guess what? Flashback Friday! I made up something. I'm so proud. I'm sure like a million other people have thought of this because if one person thinks one thing, you know there's other people thinking the same thing. So you perverts out there, you're not alone. Sorry. Anyway, so tell me if you remember this. Tell me, boy. I, I hope that flips around. I'm still not sure about this whole reflection thing right now it looks backwards but I think it changes Tommy boy <gasps> oh I know there are still people out there that have either heard of this and not watched it or just not heard of it at all and I just think that's so sad because it's like one of the best movies in the world it's a total classic it's funny it's kind of inappropriate but it's like you know in the 90s era where it's still pretty like you know, incognito or whatever that's called, and the little innuendos where it's like, if you don't really have a dirty mind, you have no idea what it's talking about. Like, you think it's funny for another reason, but it's really not. It's really sick and twisted and perverted, but it's also funny, but it's not, don't, no, no, it's not like, no, it's, it's not that bad. Oh God, I'm making it sound horrible. No, it's not that bad. It's just, <laughs> it's funny. Like, if you've watched Seinfeld, it's kind of like that kind of innuendos. And if you haven't watched Seinfeld, you're probably pretty well off in your life. Um, because you can get addicted and it can overtake your world and you can reference everything to Seinfeld. I've been corrupted by my mom and my stepdad. Thank you. You can pick just about any situation in life, and it goes back to Seinfeld. I can't think of any right now, but it will. If I could edit this thing, it would be so much better. And I could just, like, you know, compile these instead of, like, a ten-minute long thing segment on just the different innuendos that apply to... Not innuendos. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, so let's move on. All right. So, uh, where do I continue from here? Okay, so this is, I'm just going to read the back because I don't know what it wants to give away or not. A uh, part, oh, I've actually never read the back of this. Oh, this will be fun. All right, all right, how to not cover up my face. Okay. Party animal Cali, God. Take three. Party animal Tommy Callahan which is Chris Farley, as you can see. And in case you don't know who he is, he's this guy. He's this guy, Rip. Rest in peace, Carly. Car I can't talk anymore. Chris Farley. Um, I'm pretty sure he was also a party animal in real life. Um, or similar to that. I know he was into drugs. I think he overdosed, according to my dad. I don't know. I might be misquoting. I'm pretty sure I'm not, though. I just, I hate to say stuff like that about people that I barely know anything about. Um, which would bring me to another topic in a few moments, in case. Unless I, oh, why did I say in case? Ugh, get your head together. Unless... I decided to go into a whole different video and it'll probably turn into a rant video. So I better just make that separate. Um, but yeah, David Spade, also, you see, you see, you see? He's the obnoxious, sarcastic dude in this that pisses Tommy off, but Tommy, I'm just screw reading the back. Tommy always tries to find these great comebacks and they're always lame and terrible and he's not exactly very smart. He. He's not street smart, nor book smart in the beginning, and closer toward the end he becomes a little more street smart, still not book smart. That way, bye bye to him a long time ago. And there's a similar quote like this. Thank you, David Spade. You have a wonderful character in this movie. One of my favorite characters you play, and you're still young, and you're not balding. Wait, does, is he balding in Grown Ups? I don't know. I don't know these things. I know he has longer hair. but. Oh, and he has like a stash or something. Okay, totally off topic. <laughs> There's one quote in, quote, one quote in there. Ah, uh, bear with me. 
Alright, so Richard starts fixing his tie, right? And it falls off and he's like, eh, it's a clip on. And then Richard goes, are you sure? But not like that, no. I, I can't do it like he does. There's no smile. He's like, are you sure? I don't know. I can't do it. It's, it's him. I'm telling you. Tommy Boy, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure you can find it at some library that still has VHS. Or maybe it's on DVD now, or maybe you can get it on Amazon. Amazon has fucking everything. Sorry, I can't bleep. Uh, nothing happened. Sorry. God, I wish I could edit this. Okay, um, I think I, I was going to make this a uh, different video, but I decided it's going to be short, so I might as well. My favorite blush in the world! Yeah, I really hope this flips back. Master Glaze by Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh wait, I forgot the first part. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. I love it. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, the reason it's my favorite blush. Bear with me, please. I I'm kind of scatterbrained. It's a glaze. Oh, there's a little mark in there from something that I don't know what it is. Oh. There's fuzz. Fuzz isn't good. I don't want fuzz on my face. I just put this on my face. How is there fuzz on this? <sighs> Sorry. Alright, so the reason I love this is like, I'm actually kind of wearing it, but then I was like, no, I want to put this in my video. Because I like, don't make videos anymore. Not that I ever made that many. I don't know, maybe I should start wearing makeup in my eyebrows. Sorry. Alright. So the reason I love this is because it's a glaze and it turn kind of it goes on like this and don't worry it won't stay like no it won't stay like this you rub it in or I guess you can use a brush if you want I don't really feel like using a brush because I'm just lazy and normally with cream blush I'm pretty sure you just use your hands anyway I use my hands for just about everything in my makeup except for eyeliner and lip stuff by the way also my favorite lip balm in the world. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Whoa, no, that was terrible. Nivea shimmer. A kiss of shimmer. Focus, focus, there, focus, and. I think that's all I'm gonna do for today. <sighs> oh, and okay, got these earrings yesterday at Jules Boutique. It's like a nice little shop here. Um, I hope that's not giving my address away. <gasps> Creepy stalkers. Look, look. I think it kind of has like you can see the ombre. You can see it. It's kind of ombre, it's like kind of white at top, and then it gets more to a blue color, and it has nice little rhinestones, the rhinestones, because I'm not rich and I can't afford diamonds. God, I wish I could tell. Sorry. Why do I keep apologizing? I don't know, what's wrong with you? I don't know. And I got the scarf too. Wow, I totally lost track of what I was saying, because I'm spacey today. And I'm so sorry this is long and rambly. I'm going to be making a rant next, so you can enjoy that rambling too! Yay! Bye. Oh yeah, and I was just watching Jenna Marbles stuff, and I think that's why I slipped up on the cussing, because, I don't know, I think she's rubbing off on me. I normally cuss not in my videos, because I know it offends people, and, uh, love you Jenna, but, yikes. I'm sorry about that slip up. I'm sure if you were listening to this because you thought, Oh, Janae, she doesn't cuss. I can listen to this in front of my parents. Oh, crap! She said a cuss word! And then your parents look at you like, What are you watching? You're grounded. No more computer for you. Just tell them I said sorry, and it was all my fault. And they can ground me if they can find me, but they probably can't because I'm far away. And if I'm not, that's weird. I'm going to go now before I start keep saying even stupider stuff. Bye!